Hello and welcome guys. Today I'm gonna share with you a project I'm working on. So my home country is in trouble actually in future. So the world uh, environment specialists they are saying a certain country in the world gonna go under water after a couple of years because the sea level is rising. I think you know the ice is melting everywhere. Now in this situation those countries um, probably gonna go sink so we should we should you know warn those people and including my home country let them know that they think sh they should think about building a house like a shape of boat or like a shape of ferry and then they build their home on that and later when water come sea level rise or water level rise the ship or the ferry type of home it's gonna go up and when water gonna go down it's gonna go down so they never need to worry about their home can be destroyed or can be sink destroy could be possible if a disaster come when like big big structures get you know damage so let me show you how i plan from beginning to end so this is the plan of a house which is uh, let me show you what's the dimension of it so it's gonna be like 60 feet from outside to outside and from this corner this is the back side of it it's 30 feet so 30 feet by 60 feet and this is the one will be uh, you know when for example let's say this is like a boat okay and one day you come up with an idea to make this your house movable so you can move from one place to another so it's possible it's not hard you know, the whole design gonna be like one day if you want to make it like a boat you can make so you're gonna add some engines and generator heavy generator and then you put two propeller there the fan the motor and uh, this it will be your front side this it will be your rear side and uh, when you want to park it so let me show you let's say this is a road okay so you're gonna bring your boot and it's going to be join the road here like gonna be park with the road so it's a big boat or you can say a house in a boat now let me show you from beginning so i started the design from here so what we need to do we need to have three boot like you know wooden boot or like a steel metal boot three piece of boot we need to made with metal first which is gonna be let me show you the dimensions so it's gonna be six feet from here to there and this way you're gonna be 60 feet I will show you when we start curving and these three are same so that's why I put letter A here letter A here and letter A there if it is different I put different letter so you can see here overall size is 30 feet and then each of them are six feet and then gap between two is six feet so like six 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 and six that's 30 and then if you make three boot out of it then six and six 12 feet left in the center now if you come on the front side you can see the gap will be between two will be 12 because this point becomes zero that's why 12 feet by 12 feet but from this corner to this corner will be 24 feet now if you come here and take a look on the a how a looks so it's 60 feet long you can see 60 feet long 30 feet gonna be straight and the rest of the 30 feet going to be carved slowly from here to there now if you follow this design exactly you can build it by yourself so you look here it's six feet on this side until 30 feet it's still six feet 
you see six feet then it start become different sizes uh, let me show you so okay now the first one from like each of these are one feet away from each other so let me show you for example from this center of this line to center of this line is one feet so you cannot see here 30 lines to tell because 30 feet every um, every one feet have a dimension different dimension so let's start with six feet so from here we are starting curving this is six feet then after one feet it's gonna be five feet eleven and six after one feet gonna be five feet eleven point one after one feet gonna be five feet eleven ten point five this is how it's gonna go to the end and the last the, the, before the zero is gonna be four point five inches so this is how you're gonna get the shape because you need to draw this shape on the ground I, I believe before you build it then otherwise you're not able to make it uh, you're gonna need a big factory to, to build it but the factory will also do it not in the ground but they will do in their machine so if our you know people who build a boat and who have experience building things they can do it, it you, do, you do not need to be a boat builder to build it because if you have a drawing and you can follow you can do it so you're gonna create three of them now you have this shape but you don't know what's the height i'll show you later the height this is the one you need to you need to create another piece of metal which is gonna be like this so let's say this one if you check the outside from this corner to this corner is six feet so this is the exactly as the a but you need to make the part inside you see this part let me hedge it so solid and let's change the color so let's make it uh, yellow no yellow is too shiny it's a light blue close so you see this light blue area you need to build this piece of like a, a shape of the boat but it's gonna be only uh, about one feet high and this one going to join somewhere I'll show you soon so so you have this one which is in dimension will be four feet six inch by 29 feet 2.9 inch from here to there and then later I'll provide all the dimension later when I done the project done this project I'll let you guys to go to my website and download it so later so now you have ready three A's and three piece of this blue area let me deteriorate this so you can see this but without the outline you're not gonna understand that's why I put an outline so this blue area going to be a piece of metal one feet high and it's going to be on exactly this shape okay so keep it in mind we're gonna create three of them one two three and three A's okay now we come here we need to build this one so this piece of a frame it's like a frame right it's the dimension is here put it this dimension you can follow to build it you have three piece of A's and three piece of these and now we're gonna make a, a frame like the floor the floor gonna be this piece and we're gonna build something above it so now let me show you the dimension of this one the dimension will be from here to there which is 24 feet enter if you go there it's going to be 30 feet no more and you know the outside is 30 and 30 as much as I remember here you go and here to there also 30 now this frame when you make you make this piece fast let me bring it here so you're gonna make this one piece right when you build it you're gonna keep space 
this you see this three boot shape thing you're gonna keep three hole so if I take it back control Z okay so let's say mm -hmm. okay let me show you H it let's change color no? later so let's say this blue area this area going to be solid and it's going to, to be like a slab of a floor so it's one feet high and inside gonna be hollow space so we can run pipes for electric pipe and sanitary pipes and other you know uh, like concealed thing we need to run through the boat from front to back and back to front and everywhere else so we need hollow but it's gonna height gonna be one feet and this three cut will be in the center why this three cut because this cut going to fill with this piece so if I if I take this one change the color and copy this one and clicking from the head bring it here bring it here no okay now should be here And delete this one so you see this piece the blue piece going to so this wait give me one second <laughs> so this three orange piece going to sit on the top of on the center of this one the a so if I copy this one see or enter copy from the head go and click here you see how it's sitting it's going to be nine inch small every side and it's going to sit on this top of the A and later you're gonna get a shape of three boot with this three and then we bring this piece of slab and put it from the top so it's going to become one piece after we put it we're gonna weld every uh, weld and and put some lot of bolts so it's gonna be one piece so this three is going to be underwater like as much weight they take then I go underwater and let's say it's gonna be about 50% underwater and 50% above water so if we make it make this boat like 10 feet high or 12 feet high six feet gonna be underwater and six feet gonna be above water and above the six feet this piece going to see it the slab so it's gonna be our total height before the building gonna be about seven feet above water so keep it in the mind now after you do this thing as I mentioned now you come you're gonna get this let me show you so you're gonna get like this a plot so you can call it a like a plot oh boy f3 off so you're gonna get a plot like this so your plot is little bigger than 60 feet i believe it's gonna be oh no it's 60 feet i kept okay so 60 feet by 30 feet you get a full plot okay now how are you gonna go in i'm deleting this one coming here so if this is our front we're gonna most of the time gonna communicate through this way so this one gonna be our main door so we're gonna have three inch three inch wall you can say or outside and inside ev everywhere three inches not more than that so three inch wall mean it's not gonna be uh, bricks or something else it's gonna be metal all steel or steel and aluminium together so three inch gonna be everywhere like everywhere outside and inside now when you come here you put one piece of like you know complete piece of metal like this let me show you bring it here so you're gonna build one like this three inch thick control Z bring it back and then we're gonna put a Z shape metal here and put a lot of fasteners so this Z shape thing gonna be maybe uh, if it is like eight inch long, eight, in, eight inch tall, then gonna be like six of them and put a lot of uh, screws because when the intruder come, like the thief come or somebody try to break in, 
they will try to through the this door this is the vulnerable place right now we need to like you know hold it very tight so you see you can see how i like try to save the door so now the door is not like you know open inside or outside to take space it's gonna be a sliding door so i'm gonna go this way oh boy f8 I'm gonna go this way all the way in when you open it it's gonna go this way if you push it it's gonna go all the way in and you have completely four feet opening you can take anything you want inside almost anything you can take with four feet opening now if somebody try to you know break in they're not able to do that because our door going to be very enforced so it's not possible to you know break in easily it's gonna be take a very good amount of time to break in and we will build some protection later so now if we have uh, um, the same technology on this side and I kept this place you see this area I keep it like when we reach to the ground let's say here is our road or, or a, a place we can park our boat and we can get out through this way we will it's gonna be one step down then the plinth level the floor level so we just one step down and then we can walk later actually uh, when I was trying to draw the 3d I I made it with uh, what is called I put some railing here I believe I can show you my 3d too anyway so now I'll explain the plan let who understand congratulations who are new better uh, for them to understand so now you come this way inside you go they are gonna be one bed and a sofa simple everything need to you know attach with the ground because if cyclone come or if some very big kind of storm come it's gonna be shakes the whole board going to shake right so you don't want something you know move from its place so the sofa gonna be you know bolted down with on the with the ground the bed will be bolted down <laughs> maybe the table maybe maybe not maybe we're gonna do something so we can push it in and put my pull it out this is how also we can do that okay other than that so you're gonna come in you open this door you're gonna go there and this place is gonna be an arch you can go through the arch and it's gonna be a dining room sometime and we're gonna put a window here a small window nobody can go in but we a window with a glass so if somebody comes and knock the door we can see from here and then we're gonna open the door maybe night maybe you know you never know for safety second thing so this is our dining room six people can sit eat you can add one more chair if you want but six people gonna be in in most of the family have six seven eight people so if you need to add some people you can if you go a little more in so you can go upstairs this way uh, do not worry about this railing is for upstairs actually so when the stair is going up like this so you're gonna go straight one two three four five six seven eight nine and the number 10 will be this this corner so 10 mean five feet and because the rise of the stair will be six inch each of them so if 10 um, stairs gonna be five feet and then you're gonna go this way one two three four uh, steps and then you're gonna go get another landing so one first you start from here one landing just to go this way another landing and third landing gonna be there so this one going to be the seven the first floor uh, ceiling so now you reach here and you start walking this way or that way make sense now when you start walking this way this two inch gonna be for your railing so you can hold the railing and and walk up and go this way and the railing gonna be continue to the first floor and then the railing come this way and stop here otherwise people are gonna fall this way right <laughs> makes sense and it's going to be aligned with this and it's gonna look beautiful after you reach here you get uh, under this chair gonna be a little bit space you can use this way this space and other than that uh, you you're gonna get this you see this line this area and we're gonna build a bathroom there and we're gonna keep it two feet door so under these stairs 
so you're gonna come this way if you wanna go to you a guest or somebody comes with you or you wanna go to bathroom just without going any any bedroom so you're gonna go straight open this door and we're gonna go here the shower there's the bathroom comet and here's uh, the small hand wash place now other than that uh, you can keep one or two motorcycles if you want so let's say a family must have their motorcycles right so you can bring it in you can put your motorcycle here one motorcycle gonna be easily uh, you know you can park here and if you have two motorcycle also you can park another one next to it and it's gonna be a little uh, you know uncomfortable to go to the bathroom but you know if if you park you need park then you, you park it here <laughs> what are you gonna do also you can you know if you want to well, park it somewhere here here there or in, I like you can put a little bit inside this way also possible so not a big deal right and I kept this place I could draw it you know straight but I kept it little bigger because sometimes people you know coming down and somebody going out or in they need space also if you want to make it look more beautiful comfortable then you can put some flowers here plastic flower or the original flower i mean you know what is better and also you can build them as i mean put something underneath so you can push it to hold and then pull it out so it's not gonna fall down even the boat is you know shaking right or left and if you don't want to put anything here you can put, park your one of thing like a bike maybe or something when everybody is going to sleep you can do that so this is actually your kitchen when you enter in your kitchen you have plenty of space there is another arc you can put a if you need to put a curtain you can put there so you know it's gonna be separate you're gonna put one there also so no problem if you if your guest if you if you if you don't like your guest you know see who is in in there you can do that you can put a card in here a card in there now when you cook something you can just directly take it from kitchen to the dining and in the kitchen this is the prep table then a sink then this is the cooking range you can like we call it stove too and this one a hood hood which gonna pull out the all the smell and the hot air from the kitchen other than that we have a corner cabinet and this place gonna be something we're gonna build something later maybe a shelf or something because the shape because of the shape is is look ugly what are we gonna do <laughs> so and it's, it's gonna be fun if you are like you know when you build it so you have a corner cabinet and then you have uh, like two 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 feet cabinet and one uh like one feet cabinet with one door and this is your refrigerator plenty of space inside and when you have prep table you're gonna do all the cutting here so you're good right other than that if somebody break into this door at night when everybody's sleeping then they have another door to break so it's gonna be a thick in a quarter inch thick sheet metal so we are going to bend it like this and or we're gonna just you know make it like a small small piece and then we're gonna weld and make it one piece it's gonna be a one piece like a jump or side and this is another jump piece on the like a side piece and the door gonna be play in between so when you lock this door from inside i'm not showing any locking me mechanism right now but when you lock it another one hour or two hour job to open this door what i'm trying to say is not gonna be an easy task for a thief to break in without waking up everybody <laughs> okay uh, other than that when you come to main living area so you get a bedroom only this bedroom have no attached bathroom so let's say if you have a young son or a daughter and or somebody gonna live in this room they are gonna go out this way open this door they're gonna go to this bathroom because uh, it's gonna be a common bathroom for everybody other than that this bedroom have a attached bathroom here which is 5 feet 6 inch by 8 feet every bedroom are 12 feet by 12 feet 6 inches you can see now if we stay here this bedroom have their uh, their attached bathroom this bedroom have their attached bathroom 
and we have this space for storage because you need a lot of storage uh, space <laughs> because this is the only home you have uh, and uh, you have to be live with like in you know, a lot of storage need for our food and fruits and vegetable and sometimes clothing some extra clothes for extra things for you know guests if they come like you know bed and bed sheet and this and that so sometimes chair and tools and stools and other things you can put everywhere now you can go this side also you get a big storage which is this way gonna be 12 feet 6 inches this way gonna be uh, like 12 feet and uh, I just put a dimension 5 feet 6 inch which is this way and then 12 feet 6 inch so I don't want to make confuse people but I put another size here 4 feet thin 3 inches so you're gonna know like you know how much space you have you you're gonna use all of this and then you're gonna come all the way and so this one with one bathroom the, this room have the common bathroom this room have attached bathroom this room have attached bathroom and every bathroom have shower and you know everything if all the business you can do now i am still thinking about a door on the back side and not sure if i want to make one but uh, probably i'm gonna put a door there the doors are the vulnerable place for a, a a home you can't break a wall but you can break a door right normally people do that so i'm thinking but i'm still not sure because let's say if i do not have a door and for any fire emergency or something else uh, the windows I'm gonna uh, like you know design later not yet the windows not gonna be exitable so you can't get out through windows let's say a window wide is four feet and height is only nine inches so you can get AR but you can't get out through this now if you have an emergency how you're gonna get out this is the problem that's why I have uh, like you know plan I'm thinking to you know open a door here but not yet we'll see so this 30 feet by 60 feet apartment you can have in a boat now when you go this way up you have second floor so what we I thought for second floor now you all the weight gonna be on this boat or boat home it's gonna go all the pressure go to these three these trees three A's now we can't build a two three story building with these three boats if you want to make it like you know three storage four storage it's gonna be another drawing another kind of drawing okay let's go back to second floor oh you can see first floor so after you done with the ground floor or this this floor you can call it first floor <laughs> and let's call it first floor and this one second floor so when you go to the stair come up so my suggestion is we're gonna have plants here all all, are, all of these are plants better you can you know you, you can plant for onion garlic and other fruits and vegetables you can you can grow here because this plenty of space you have and sunlight gonna be there and water you can always have because the, your home is in your pond or somewhere in water so you can always have water access just give them some water now point is when the boot is shaking they're gonna fall fall down right so each of them gonna be a tub a tub gonna be a um, I mean underneath and that tub gonna have a piece of magnet and that piece of magnet going hold with the metal so for example let's say this is the ground okay I'm showing you on on elevation so you're gonna have one of
so let's say this is like a tub and then we have our greens are here so let's say these are our oh boy i'm trying to make it look like a tree taking time oops so let's say this is a vegetable tree or something and here we're gonna apply a piece of magnet okay so this piece of magnet going to so when you have this port and you pull it down to and, and you put it down this piece of magnet going to hold your tub tight with the ceiling i hope it makes sense to you <laughs> and if you pull hard it's gonna go up so this is how you're gonna plant and try if you you know keep distance between uh, you know plants so you can walk through them you can water them our my intention was about two feet so one feet 11 and nine mean two feet almost so two feet gaps this way two feet gaps this way now i put three trees and then i have you know on the side maybe sometime you walk on with the railing on you stop uh, and watch the weather and on watch your neighbors so i don't want to put it with the wall so you keep like you know two feet inside this one this area is less than two feet because i was trying to you know align with this and i don't want to you know miss this place so you know a different kind of thing you can uh you know plant there and done now on the front side when if let's say if you have a good view of your front of your house so you're gonna face this side of your boat or boat home to that beautiful view and then people gonna um, like you know you can put place five chairs here those are beach chairs so you can you know take sun baths or you know everybody needs sunlight so you can easily have some sunlight here okay other than that you have some extra you know open space there if you need to do something or mm, you never know if something come up when i'm gonna completing the 3d i'll go over it and other than that you have this door also sliding door and you see how how i build it so it's aligned with this way and this side is like three inch out because if somebody trying to break through the you know second floor then they can't they can't break in easily so they come here they're gonna put some metal here maybe they're gonna squeeze no it's not gonna work and how we're gonna lock it right so we're gonna lock like this let's let's say let's build a a like a piece of you know metal and uh, So we're gonna put, we're gonna build something like this, and so make it as a block, just to show you. So let's bring this piece of metal 
and we're gonna make a hole and put this piece when we're gonna lock the door this piece is going to hang somewhere on, on this wall or this wall and we're gonna put push this one inside it's gonna be little here or close to this area and this three inch thick wall and then you have quarter inch in both side the metal you know sheet metal made uh, you know u-shape thing jump and then we're gonna push this one in and we're gonna put another piece of metal here and we're gonna have something there so no one can no way you can break in it breaking it so even if, if you know the drawing and you cut this area it's not gonna work because if you push this way it's not gonna go inside because you have something we, we ha we're gonna have something like this on particle here to hold it so you're not able to no way you can open it now if you're gonna cut through this two inch door panel good luck it's gonna be metal and gonna be with a lot of noise so not like 99.9 percent .9 secure and there is not lock like you know you can you can do some magic and open the lock now there is not this is going to be manual locking from inside so if somebody want to break in from outside it's almost impossible okay guys so that was all about this whole boot home plan i'm gonna close without saving not saving So I, I could not complete the 3D works actually completely. I just uh, actually started. It's been a couple of uh, days. I, I did not upload anything on, on the YouTube. So I was not feeling comfortable. So let me show you what I did. Right now you can see a little bit of the primary idea of this boot home let me delete everything so you can see easily okay i'm gonna go to top view and delete everything go to the isometric view you can see this is how it's look now if i go this to this one and show you so beginning at remember the boot so boot gonna be uh, this piece I did not you know uh, draw yet I'll, I'll show you guys later so this is gonna be it's gonna be one piece like this a piece the uh, underneath of this piece gonna be you know like this like straight okay and top of this so I'm gonna go back top of this move enter preview enter enter let's move it like 50 feet of this one also 50 feet now you can see so first we're gonna build this three piece then we're gonna build these this one the remember the a a shape thing let's bring bring it 20 no let's bring it to 50 feet so it's gonna sit on the top so you can see like this right now you remember i was showing another small piece i'm gonna make like nine inch from the all the all the sides that piece going to sit like this on the top of the blue one so you can see it sit perfectly right make sense no <laughs> i don't know make sense or not control z okay so first you're gonna build this piece then you're gonna have this blue piece and then you're gonna have that one feet height nine inch smaller than the boat this is the piece so let's bring this two also so 50 feet so we have our a shape is the blue color and another one remember the orange shape is gonna be this one the white one so it's actually attached with this but I did not uh, make it to the same color 
and this piece gonna be joined from the bottom so we're gonna make three separate pieces of let's say this is one let's say one one put uh, one a and in one a we're gonna join a, a piece for, for the bottom and the piece in the center and the piece on the top why this piece is is necessary on the for the top so remember i was talking about we're gonna build the the one piece for our as a slab so this is the slab you see there are hollow space in between and that the space is you know little half inch bigger than the white area so it's gonna go sit perfectly let me put 50 feet and let me show you what is the half inch you can see here let me go on this one and rotate a little bit oops let's see so you can see um, you barely see so you have a little bit gap otherwise if no gap you're not going you're not able to go you know put, you know put it in so you have a half inch still there are well you know if you build a little bit anything right or left it's not gonna be sitting properly you need to cut off you need to cut on the spot so after you put this slab now this piece and the slab well, after you all like you know weld very well and put some you know nuts fasteners big big nuts and it's gonna be one piece it's gonna be one heavy piece and not gonna go you know easily out still I'm thinking about one more thing if you have advice please pass me through so let me show you if I go to the side view no let's go to the back view what is back view so the back so let's say DLI enter now this whole thing is about 15 feet tall now 15 feet tall mean if you bring this one one feet down come on give me the center part this is 14 right yeah i just want to make sure it's one feet so now 14 feet is too tall without any connection so let me delete this one so if i go to the back no to the side whatever side yeah so if so you see this gap the gap is six feet but the tall from here to there 14 feet now if something hit here very hard or they are very hard probably they're gonna be separate so i'm thinking to put a piece of you know beam in between them uh, like maybe a few of them so i'm still thinking but we'll back on on this later i'll go with my engineer friend and you know figure it out now if i go to the isometric view you can see this is how it's look now if you go to the front side to see the door and other things you can see there's something hollow right i will show you what is it now this is how we're gonna build the front like in you know, a six inch for a step let's say go to sw asymmetric and w asymmetric and you see this everything i'm gonna just bring go to side view take everything except the slab remember 50 feet bring it down 50 feet and if you go to the isometric or what is called yes southeast isometric you can see this is your outline wall three inch thick and uh, let me show you inside you see the inside don't worry about the color of white and it's gonna be one color later before we build our building and this is how everything gonna be now i need to bring okay go to s to be asymmetric let's bring this 
slab 50 feet and it's gonna be there so guys the whole logic behind it that we should and we can build a very strong and beautiful home in a boat boat shape cost I know you are thinking about the cost because all of them are you know metal and aluminiums cost gonna be little more than concrete buildings but this one when you build with metal if you can build it properly it's gonna stay more than 100 years normally rod concrete cement buildings are not staying more than 60 65 years in certain countries because rcc is not strong enough like before okay now this is the funny thing okay so let's say there is a road let me draw the road man so let's say rc enter we have a road let's say it's about 25 feet go to straight view mm -hmm. and bring it down let's say our so so imagine this is the road okay and your boot came all the way close to it now how are you gonna get out maybe it's maybe the you know road are wait guys road are not like this i should build it properly so i'm gonna go to the isometric view okay and uh, i'm going to add few things with the road because most of the road gonna be like this even underwater or above water oh boy So I draw two wings of the rod, extruding them from here to there. Okay, so road's gonna be like this. Now, even if it is underwater, it's have a extra shape, extra space. Now your boot, your boot home not gonna you know go all the way touch the road. So let's say we're gonna bring this boat close to the road or road close to the boat you say what to touching right we can keep until it's touched we're not gonna feel it right <laughs> now we're gonna go as sw asymmetric view and we have a piece of metal here that's our stair so you're gonna bring it out see m enter see it's gonna coming out and touch the road so it should not come out from the building but let's say i think i should build it little more bigger so I, I, right now it's 10 feet so let's say like this now everybody can walk right you can just walk and when you're done you just put it back and you have both side here railings and just for beauty and if somebody uh, you know when somebody open the door and let, let's let me open the door 
so open the door come out and see like stand here or in a bend over here hold one hand gonna hold this metal and another hand gonna pull this one out right make sense this is all I mean that's all for today guys just want to show you like what I'm doing <laughs> so I'm deleting uh, actually I'm not gonna change anything I'm just closing the file so before that let me show you one more time it's gonna be look like this and if you stand on the on the front it's gonna look like this and let's say if it is this much underwater after you complete first floor second floor i mean not second floor like any other floor no it's it's just for one floor one floor and you're gonna have some few things on on the roof so it's probably gonna be you know out of water about let's say about six feet my my count so if we say four feet we can it's gonna be you're gonna see when you stand you're gonna see this much so let me hitching it out Uh, let's hatch the whole subject so select as center okay and uh, let's say yeah white is now no. let me change the color little watery color and if I bring it on the top oh wait what is that oh boy where is it So actually putting it on the both sides guys no actually can i uh, you know, edit it i mean extrude it <laughs> edit so if you go to the side view so you're gonna see let's say <coughs> excuse me So when you stand somewhere uh, like you know on a state like straight you and watching you're gonna see this much building from the side view actually you're not gonna understand uh, you're gonna see water something is floating on the top of water but if you go to the front view you're gonna see this three boot type of shape of thing and you're gonna feel like oh okay this is a boot home or something right so if i rotate now you can see this is the back yeah the back and then you can see the side and you can see the front and when we're gonna cut the windows we're gonna give a lot of beautiful shapes you can make it very expensive and you can make it very cheap i try my best to make it as much you know less cost i can so that's all for today guys hopefully see you in the next video and explaining more detail about it if you have any opinion please share with me with the comments thank you for watching have a wonderful time take care